This is my review of Clean ROM for the Evo 4G LTE. I've been using this ROM since the day I installed it, which you can find that video in the description of this video. You get the ICS notification bar. See it right there? Something I want to cover really quick before I forget is that under power, you always want to make sure that this is unchecked. And this ROM comes with it unchecked by default. That is a big plus. Because as soon as you flash this ROM, if you need to reboot into recovery or do anything like that, or power it down and manually reboot into bootloader and stuff, you can do that because it's not checked. And you don't have to go in here and manually check it yourself. A very, very, very big plus to this ROM is this. If you open up apps like Tap -a Talk, there is no menu button at the bottom. It's gone. That's because it's right here. That's awesome. See, I love you too. So you press this, and there's your settings. All of your settings. You don't have a little bar taking up all the space on your screen. You get all 4.7 inches of this. And your recent apps are still right here. You just hold down the home button. He is looking into making the recent apps look just like ICS where you flick them left and right like on the Transformer Prime and the Galaxy Nexus and etc. So that's pretty awesome. I can't wait for that. The latest update also made it towards the 3G icon is blue. I get a terrible signal as you can tell so I always keep it on Wi-Fi. But even the 3G and 4G signals are blue. That's another thing. LTE works great. I'll put a screenshot up right there. 4G LTE works just fine. You get all of your normal quick settings, like I showed you in the ROM. Oh wow, that looks terrible. I need to turn that down. There we go, it looks a little bit better on my phone. It comes with Apex Launcher. This was my first experience with Apex Launcher. I've used Nova and I even bought Nova Prime. I'm tempted to buy the Plus version of Apex just so I can play with that a lot. I haven't really messed with the settings too much. But you can make your apps, you know, go in and out, different effects. You get more when you purchase the premium version. So it comes with an alternative launcher, which is pretty good. I like it so far. With most ROMs, you get your normal reboot and recovery, restart, power off, etc. You get a lot of stock ICS apps like messaging and calendar. Now I wonder if under settings, multimedia. All right, maximum is one megabyte for now. That could change later on in the future. There's the calendar. It is the stock ICS calendar. He's looking into putting more and more stock ICS apps in here to replace the Sense ones. You can overclock it by opening up the app, granting it root permissions, setting your speed to like 2.0, 1.9, I don't think I would recommend you choosing 2.0. I think 1.7 would be just fine, and pressing apply will make you reboot your device. As you saw in the install video, if you've seen it already, for some reason with Mean ROM, that didn't show up anymore, so I'm not sure why it shows up with this ROM, but I like it. I used Regal's bootloader customizer to change that. And there's the Jelly Bean boot animation. It does not take long to boot up at all, and you get your standard unlock screen. You can go immediately go to the camera, which I have found that when you do that and you immediately go to the camera, you can only take pictures. See, it says setting clock speed. See, there's the blue 3G icon. I'm getting a lot of comments on my video showing off Google Fiber. It's a video I uploaded just yesterday. All right, when we hold down the camera button, you'll see that there is the picture button and the video button. Nothing has changed there too much. I'm trying to keep this relatively short and cover everything there's to cover. When you're on the home screen and you press this, these are all the options you get. And also, if we just quick press it, like a half press, it should launch the search. Yep, sure does. So you just like half press it and let go and it launches the search. So like if we're in YouTube, there's the Google Fiber video I posted yesterday. On my phone, I'm logged into my second account. Josh is nice, links to that in the description. That's where I just post quick videos that I don't feel belong on the main channel. So if we just half press it and let go, we can just start typing in like what would 
Josh, do. And then there's my videos. Some of these were from a long time ago. Something that I cannot forget to cover is the battery life. As you see, I have 50% remaining and I've been on my battery for seven hours and three minutes. I have had this thing go for 23 hours and I simply plugged it in because it didn't die. I'll try to find screenshots and put them up now. I'm telling you, the battery life on this ROM is simply amazing. And today, I was running speed tests because I get LTE where I live. They're not the best speeds in the world. I've actually gotten 38.5 down and there's videos of that on my channel as well. I was getting a consistent 10 down average and about eh, seven to 10 up. And I tried like six different servers. There was like four of them in Kansas City, one of them in Independence, and then there was one in Overland Park. And each tower was giving me different results. I don't get LTE inside my apartment because I'm partially underground. And heck, I don't even get 3G, I get 1X. <laughs> It's terrible. I step outside, then I get 4G LTE. I live on the very edge of Kansas City. I'm actually gonna be moving closer to KC into an area that has Google Fiber because I upload videos that are a massive like three to six gigs, sometimes more depending on the length of them. It took about eight minutes to upload almost three gigabytes on Google Fiber and that was with like tons of other people using it. I pay Comcast for 50 down and 10 up and I never get that. There's all the things that the ROM comes with. SD card tweaks, build out prop tweaks, the Holo launcher, never really used it, but I've heard about it. I told you about the ICS theme status bar. Uh, those are all the AOSP apps, and there will definitely be more AOSP apps coming to it. And I'm absolutely digging the fact that there's no menu bar down here while I'm in apps like Tap -a Talk, Facebook, and so many others that are not ICS compliant. If it was ICS compliant, it would have a menu button on the screen. I told you about half pressing the camera button. It says that the camera button wakes the phone. It sure does. And as you'll notice, there's no bloatware that comes with this phone. I've actually installed several apps myself. Not that many. I usually am the kind of person that has like 110 apps on his phone, but I'm trying to minimize it and keep it only what I need as time goes on. This is the app you'll definitely want to check out because this ROM does not have it enabled by default, but basically from the hours of 12 a.m. to 7 a.m., if you do not use your phone for a 15 minute period, it'll automatically shut off 3G, Wi-Fi, just everything. So all you'll get is text messages and phone calls, that's it. But when you download Smart Sync Disabler, you can actually check that box right there. Mine's checked right now, and it will prevent that from happening. While it's awesome in some ways, because you don't wake up to a dead battery, if you're like me and you kind of work a night shift, it doesn't help at all. When every time you unlock your phone, your 3G, Wi-Fi, and everything has to reconnect. So if you're asleep from midnight to 7 a.m., I wouldn't disable it. I mean, you'll still get calls and text messages. That's about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this. I spent a good week with this ROM and I can promise you that the battery life has been great for me. Right now, as of 1.1, it only displays it in 10% increments. The developer is aware of that and will be fixing that shortly. And this ROM will progress and get better in time. More apps will look just like AOSP. The ROM is already great and I'm telling you, I'm absolutely loving the fact that the menu button is not on the screen at all times when you're in apps like Facebook, Speed Tests, Tap -a Talk, just many apps that aren't ICS compliant. And before I leave and people are like, what's ICS compliant? I'm talking about where the menu button's up there and you just press on it instead of having one down here at all times. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click for you, but it helps me out a lot. And it lets me know that you like the video. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button up there. It'll let you know when I upload new content. Like I'm fixing to go install NV Flash on my Transformer Prime. And do other Evo 4 GLTE videos. And if you like this one, you'll definitely want to check out all my other videos. And subscribe for future videos. This ROM is awesome. I highly, highly, highly recommend you try it. You will not be disappointed. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.